Good happy Saturday evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to Sports with Riley King. Let's begin. First up, baseball video, Fish Cats and Several Knights. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR News 9, Jamie Stateston. Life can change suddenly when you have cardiovascular disease. But at Catholic Medical Center, it doesn't have to. Well, the Red Sox are having a bit of a tough time with the Blue Jays tonight. We'll show you that tonight at 11. Let's see how the Fisher Cats did in Portland, Maine against the Sea Dogs. New Hampshire was up 2 to nothing in the second. Then Dalton Pompey hits the slow roller towards first. He'll be safe. And on the error, John Birdie comes home to make it 3 to nothing. Fisher Cats. Bo Bichette then will follow that up with an RBI single, the All-Star. That goes to left field, extends the lead to four to nothing, New Hampshire. Portland got a run back in the third when Michael Chavis singled past third base, guarding Jeremy Rivera, but New Hampshire wins 5-3. Futures Collegiate Baseball League, Silver Knights, Worcester, Bravehearts, Exeter's Cody Moore, set name to the All-Star team. Nashua hosts that All-Star game next week. Second inning, Worcester's Chris Rinaldi, who goes to Holy Cross, Single scores Kirk Sigwell from Stetson and Joe Pesci from NYT. It was three to nothing. Worcester in the fifth. Silver Knights Nick Bittison out of Virginia Tech. He'll double past third base and then he would score as Max Goyan singles to left. Goyan goes to Monmouth. Worcester takes it 14 to three. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Red Sox beat Blue Jay in grand style thanks to Exter Bogretz. Let's take a listen to the video. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Serena Williams falls short of fairy tale Wimberlin run. Let's take a look at the video. No, I would hope she doesn't play tennis. Oh. Yeah, I know. I don't want her to have pressure from what I did and you guys talking about, are you going to be able to do as good as your mom? And I don't want her to have it. Surprised to hear Serena say that? Not really, no. I mean, I think there's a lot of pressure. Serena Williams is 
the greatest to do what she does. I mean, man, woman, athlete, she is excellent at what she does. And to be her daughter and to follow in her footsteps and to walk into those shoes, like people are gonna immediately assume that she's gonna be great. I mean, same problem that LeBron James Jr. is gonna have going into school. Oh, you're gonna be the greatest ever after your father. People are expecting you've got the genes, you've got the you know the talent you grew up around that you have to be good and that kind of pressure can be crushing for a young person for a young girl i think serena williams wants what any mother wants for her child is for her child to be able to do and pursue what she loves and you know what the child loves and what the child wants to do and, and find her own passions and if it is tennis then great but also it'll be pretty exhausting for serena who has spent her entire life around tennis to kind of retire from the game and then kind of pivot to coaching her daughter and I'm sure she would love to do that if her daughter was actually passionate about it but I don't think she wants to force her into it. Well think, speaking from a parent's point of view, right. yeah, uh, of course you want your, your child to pursue what is their passion but if it happens to be tennis, sure. I don't think it, it's going to be terrible for her because any rational or logical person isn't expecting her to be Serena Williams right. and if you're looking for a direct comparison to a certain extent, Venus is not Serena. She's obviously a, a top flight level talent, and I don't think anyone holds it against Venus that she's not Serena. But I guess Venus is the older sister, where Serena, it's like when it's your daughter, you think, I, I, I don't know, I think there is some sort of a different expectation for a child. And yeah, you know what, her daughter uh, is not even a toddler yet, you know, is very young, very early. We don't know what her daughter is passionate about yet. So it could be tennis, it could be the violin, it could be medicine, it could be anything. And I think that's what Serena is saying. She just doesn't want to set that expectation. Okay, and there you go on that video. And that does it for this edition of Sports with Riley King. I hope you all enjoyed this edition of Sports with Riley King. Have a wonderful Saturday night, everyone. I'll see you back here tomorrow night with another edition of Sports with Riley King. Goodbye, everyone.